sweat up here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> um, I think you forgot your swimsuit, Esther. <laughs> yep. I think I should get my swimsuit on. <laughs> I think it's too late. There's no point. Excellent. Gonna touch the pier. Ready, set, screw. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> I'm gonna be sure to touch, touch it. Touch it. Oh. Touch it. Oh. All right. And we made it. Hey there, everybody. We have arrived in Crossville, Tennessee. We are stopping for some brunch at the Cracker Barrel. And it's a good thing, too, because I'm starving. But we had a great drive through the night, everything went smoothly and we are making great time too great of time so we're gonna have to make some stops because otherwise we're gonna get to the house way before we can even get in there so we're gonna have some food just sitting here waiting for our turn how many people can you fit on one bench a lot <laughs> So they couldn't seat us all at the same table. We had to take up three different tables, but we just got our food. Yep. So delicious. You want, you want some pepper? Ella's at our table. Xavier's at our table. All good. Jesse's at our table. Jesse has Those are steak. mine. And Ella has some pancakes. Is that good? <laughs> Brunch was delicious. We were holding up three tables, so we left the adults inside to continue talking, and we came out here Emily? to play. And all the little kids Emily, were playing ring around the big sign. <laughs> Whatever gets their energy out. Especially the people in our car. Sorry, honey. Um, but we are on the road again, and we are only about 30 minutes away from our beach house now. So we're gonna stop off and get some coffee here soon, and then head over to the beach house. It is only 10:43, and unfortunately, we can't get into the house until three o'clock. So we have got a long ways to wait. Um, but we had to get here early because um, most of the rest of our family's flights get in at 1.30 and so my dad has to take the bus and go pick them up. So we're just kind of be going to kind of be sitting outside waiting to get in. Um, they talked about letting the kids put their swimsuits on and go to the beach while we wait, but it's pretty overcast um, and it's been raining off and on. So we'll just have to see um, what happens when we get there. Maybe the sun will poke through shortly after lunchtime, but we are almost done driving. Thank goodness. We made it! our coffee thank you Duncan unfortunately it's only 1130 so we've got a long time to wait before we can get into the house so we're just trying to come up with a plan to see what we're gonna do while we wait Gavry did so good and he's just sleeping away <laughs> oh, oh no <laughs> he must be dreaming about nursing so handsome. 
So as soon as I turned the camera off and took him out of his car seat, I realized he pooped through everything. So this little guy had a complete outfit change. It was real nasty. I swear I used almost an entire box of wet wipes. It was disgusting. Ew. We are going to take our first walk to the beach. So this is our house right here. And this is how close we are to the beach. This is the first year that we haven't had stairs. <gasps> are you showing me the water? Eloise has already been to the beach. Oh, does it tickle your toes? So we're gonna My foot. be able to take all of our sand things there quickly. My sand. And not have to worry about steps. Yep. Come on, let's go, let's go. I think that grandma is over here. My step. My jump. Here they are. They're already getting their toes wet. Is that Aunt Esther? My Ella. Oh, Aunt Ella. My yes. toys. Nope, those aren't your toys. We're gonna get your toys after we get in the house. My foot. My oh, you see the bird? You see the bird? Go get it. Run, run, run. Oh, yeah, it's running away. What a oh my goodness. Um, I think you forgot your swimsuit, Esther. I <laughs> think I should get my swimsuit on. <laughs> I think it's too late. There's well, no point. Xavier went to go get a suit on. Uh huh. And I said, that's okay. You're the only one to do that. Because, you know, it's good. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go get my swimsuit on. Yeah. We are officially in the house. I'm so excited. They got done two hours early with the cleaning, so we're able to get everything unloaded, hopefully before the rest of the family gets here with all of their stuff. So I am going to do a quick house tour before it gets crazy. I'm starting from the very, very top. So this is the stairway we just came up, and there are two rooms. So this one has bunk beds, two what I think are queen size beds, a little nook over there, there's a closet this way, and then a little pack and play over here. So this is the first bedroom, no bathroom in this room. Then here's another bedroom, same setup, two beds, and a bunk bed and then a big walk-in closet no bathroom and then this is the elevator um, bathroom here and then we've got a nice little rec room beautiful view here of the outside no. my tv up there yep we're gonna leave the tv off so that's a pretty, pretty view. With that TV. Yep, the TV is off. She's soaked. <laughs> she went to the Mom. <laughs> beach. All right, so then we're gonna go downstairs to the middle floor. <laughs> and then we'll go this way. Got a great big king size bed, I believe. A nice bathroom with a tub and shower. And then this room has a walk-in closet there and a balcony. So this is the view from that. Oh, oh, hello. Gotta show you this. I didn't see this before. Little table, beautiful view. And there's a bar up here. So that's really nice. And then another bedroom over there, which I'll show you that in a minute. I'm gonna go this way. Here's the laundry room. With a nice storage space. And then this goes out into the bar. And then keep going this direction. And here's that other bedroom, same setup, king size bed. And a double 
closet. All right, and then the bathroom in there. Somebody's in that. And then here's the balcony from this side. Double queen size bed in here with a TV and a bathroom with a bath and a shower. And then there's a little balcony, same concept, except this looks out into the road. So there's that. Nice big closet. A community bathroom that has an entrance from this room here. Same style there. And then we will go downstairs. There's the elevator. Okay, now we'll go downstairs to the main level where all the craziness is starting. There's a little eating table. Cute little living room. There's grandma, mommy, grandpa. I love the table, it's huge. The kitchen is beautiful. And then here's the back entrance. Oh, there's Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Another big table. And then the stairs to go downstairs. We're not going to pack our stuff away in cupboards so that we can take them home. With Two them. refrigerators, which is super nice. The elevator, the Jesse. And here's a side entrance. So there's three entrances. There's a small little bathroom. The front door, and then we got two bedrooms right at the front. So we got two beds, TV, closet, me, a nice bathroom. Remember correctly, eight bedrooms and seven bathrooms, but I could be wrong. Room. Yep. Ooh, double C. Nice. So that should be the whole place. It's super beautiful and I can't wait to spend the week here. So I actually got a shower, which is super great. So I can enjoy the rest of this day and get all of that traveling yuck off of me. So now I'm gonna go see the family and introduce Gavry to everyone. I kind of hid in my bedroom when everybody got here from the airport just so that I could get unpacked and they could get everything unpacked and I wasn't gonna be in the midst of all of that hustle and bustle. So now everything has calmed down and we're gonna go show off this baby. The first meal of the trip is done. We had a delicious pulled pork and now we're getting ready to have a family meeting so that we know all the rules and we know and we know exactly what is expected of us. We have lots of walkie talkies that we're gonna disperse throughout the house. So it's time for a family meeting. We also picked up toilet paper at the shop of Sam. Every room or every bathroom should have Our family meeting is over and we are getting ready to go for a walk on the beach with the whole fam and we're gonna go all the way down to the pier just to take a look at it because apparently there was a storm and it's literally cut in half so we're gonna go check that out I don't know if I'll make it all the way down but I will at least start You're all done? Come on! There are so many 
children already in the water. It's probably freezing cold. It's time to move. Alright, we are finally moving. We got the last three girls out of the water. The boys are playing frisbee as we start moving. And Uncle Sam has the party in his pocket. He always has music going. So everybody's going for a walk. And we've decided that Eloise is going for a ride. <laughs> and Isabella. What are they doing? Right there. Coming in. Get Cherry Girl with the <laughs> Isabella is drawing arrows <laughs> so that we don't forget how to get to our house. It's pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> there is Chloe. Isabella's name marks. But it doesn't seem like that many this year. Unfortunately. Water is coming up and should cover up all of her marks. doesn't count. So grandma started a movie. So everybody's following the grandma. Gonna touch the pier. Ready, set, through. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> I'm gonna be sure touch, 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 touch it. Touch it. Oh. Touch it. Touch it. All right. And we made it. So we are back from our walk and it was so good. It was probably a little bit too far for me um, just because I'm tired and I just had a baby 13 days ago. But it was so great. I'm glad that I went and now I'm exhausted. So while the whole family is up and getting snacks and busting out all the board games and card games and all that fun stuff. I am going to turn in for the night. So it has been a fun first day, I should say half day here at the beach, but I am going to head to bed. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.